Okay, today I'm going to be looking at these little cheap preamp boards you can get from eBay. Um, since I fixed up a couple of like power amps that didn't have any preamps or volume control or anything on them, I thought I'd probably time I actually got a preamp at least for testing purposes and maybe even to put in that ETI 5000 so I've got some tone controls and a volume control even though I'm going to be probably running it off the computer which I've actually given it a test run on that just using the USB to RCA adapter which has its own volume control and yeah other than the transformer not being powerful enough she ran quite well through that these basically come as a board and a bunch of knobs and nuts and bits and pieces I just found out that some of these knobs don't fit the best they're only tiny little pretty cheap old little things anyway I thought they would be tiny little things in the photos they often look bigger than they are but they're just really cheapo ones and one of them was quite hard to get on and I managed to push it a bit harder it slipped on but then I actually broke the pot trying to get it off the whole shaft came out and it's busted one of the pins so I wouldn't recommend using these knobs unless they all go on quite loosely and the other problem I found it's actually got two RCA connectors here as the input and it was actually distorting so I've had to change that's just with the CD output line level I found that if I put a lower level via the headphone socket of the CD player it was fine once I turned up the bass and stuff it was distorting so I've changed these there's two little resistors on the input here near the sockets that were 10k and I've upped them to 47k which seems to work fine uh, for an output you've just got this terminal block I just used an old RCA lead that was open circuit I cut it in half found the good half and just run it to a couple of plugs just for testing purposes at the moment with my test amp and the other thing you'll need for it is a transformer it needs 15 or well, needs 30 volts center tap basically so I've got this old Arlec transformer these are ones really common Dick Smith JKR everyone used to sell them and it goes up to 30 volts at various taps um, at one amp one amp is more than enough for this this would probably run on quite a bit less but I had these it looks like you'd now JK only sell a two amp version of these and you've got to pay about $33 for it whereas these used to be about 15 or something a bit more reasonable um, and what you have to do is just remember with these you've got like a zero and then you've got like a 15 volt and a 30 volt as well as the in-between taps and the 15 volt is actually the center tap because yeah the zero is obviously one end of the transformer 30 the other and the 15 is in between so you run that to your ground terminal here it's marked ground and you run your 30 and 0 volt to the two AC ones if you've got a different kind of transformer like JCAR cell one that's a 15 O 15 toroidal you'd obviously stick the O part into the ground and the other two should be the 15 ACs relative to that but it doesn't hurt to check just to be sure you want the you want whatever pin goes into the ground one there into the middle one to have 15 volts AC to each side you can go higher of course but I, I thought well 15 volt AC is enough because it comes out at about 22 volts DC once it's bridge rectified and filter capped that gets it up to the the peak voltage or whatever and then we've got two a 7815 a 7915 regulator so that's enough extra voltage that's like seven odd volts extra I think these need at least three volts input to output or something difference so we've got about seven volts extra which these can then regulate down to a nice 15 volts these have got these NE what are they 5532 which I think was a good quality type op amp in them what was it a 5534 I remember there was something like that in the old days it was meant to be a very good quality low noise sort of one so at least they got that in them and yeah you basically got a a treble mid and bass control and volume all on these little pots here so you're kind of stuck because they're mounted on the circuit board you're stuck with the spacing but the other option now that I've damaged one might be a better option I was thinking you could actually replace these pots with um, like full size ones on the front panel do they have a resistance 50k 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 for the tone and what is this other one I don't know if I can see is it another 50 I think they're all 50k pots B which I think would be logarithmic so I think they're all 50k so you could actually get 
different pots and unsold all these from the board and panel mount them however you want it because these probably why they've got such small knobs because they're so close together you're not really going to fit a normal size knob on there so that is one problem and especially maybe if you just wanted to preset the tone controls and have a volume control exter you know externally accessible you could actually just here yeah, replace the, the volume one run some wires up to a, a panel mount pot but other than that they do seem to work all right um, you've just got to get those levels right into it because of course there's no specifications on these things when you buy them it doesn't even tell you what the the voltages are but I thought you always got a couple of regulators by the look of it so I'll soon find out once it arrives and yeah once I don't know if it did say anywhere what the voltage was I don't think it did I think it just says AC ground AC and that's it but once you see you've got 7815 regulators you know and 7915 you know you've got to go a bit higher than that because it's going to be 15 volt DC rails inside this thing once it's regulated and yeah basically you can obviously mount them to a front panel using these nuts if you want to use the same little tiny knobs on it and then you do have sockets here but again how useful they are in most situations the chances of having a case where you put them out the side we can't even really mount them out the side panel because they're set back on these circuit boards not really a great length unless you sort of drilled a big hole around them so they're kind of pointless in many ways but i guess you could run a internal rca lead from those to your back panel sockets or whatever just get a normal rca to rca fly lead and just cut it off or make your own with a couple of bits of shielded cable and solder on rca connectors and then yeah this output could then go off to an amplifier or whatever if you i was thinking just build it inside the amplifier put it on the back panel even just with the pot sticking through so you can kind of preset everything because it'd be nice to have some adjustment of the tone controls and if you if you want it off i often like a little bit more treble a little bit more bass than flat so the sort of music i listen to tends to sound a bit better with that so i tend to adjust them up a bit and you've got the the volume control you need something on those block type amplifiers so that there's not much chance of the signal going to full volume easily i think it's better to have something to attenuate it unless you really want to crank it up for some reason in which case you can worry about it then but you definitely don't want to risk putting out 100 watts or something just by plugging the wrong input in or whatever if I press the cd and get it going players clicking a little bit there and treble middle bass and that's about it so at least we've got a volume control we can use these speakers aren't the best ones to test it on because they're not much in the way of woofers in them but it sounds like it's working all right I thought it'd be interesting to try one of these out. I actually ordered two of them because I'm thinking of just building one into a little box. So I've actually got one on the bench here. I can plug between the CD player or whatever sound source and one of those block amplifiers. Yeah, so that should do the job for running some of these amplifiers. And I think I'll just find a little metal box and build one of them in. These transformers are a little bit of overkill and a bit bigger than needed, but you can't really get much else with up to 30 volts out of it. Maybe one of those J-Car toroidals, but since I've got a couple of these lying around, I'm not going to spend $30 each on a couple of those. I've got at least two of these ones. So I'll build one of those into a little box, and at least I'll have a variable signal. Then I can just plug any line level in, and I've got a volume control, which is the main thing, and tone controls if I want them. So thanks for watching.